Brooklyn Independent Television. Black History Month is a time for the entire nation to reflect on the contributions of people of African descent in America. But the history and traditions of people of African descent are far older than their time here in the United States. And one bed resident has made it her mission to reconnect African Americans with African culture. Melissa Rose Cooper has more. That's how far you can find your reverse of culture. You know what I'm saying? Kentucky, Washington knows firsthand the importance of people connecting back to their roots. Many years ago, I was somewhere um, in Houston, and this Babalao was praying in Yoruba. And I remember having this feeling like, oh my God, I know what he's saying, even though I really didn't know what he was saying. And, but it was this interesting like connection to the Yoruba language. It just felt very, very familiar to me. She's found a way to help Brooklynites know where they come from and reclaim their heritage right out of her living room. It was of Imeji. I'm not going to be the next 500 years. A lot of people want to go back home now, in a way, like go back home to know the culture to know the basis, to know where they come from and stuff like that. Because the awareness, the cultural awareness right now is booming all over the world. Washington got the idea to open the African Institute on Language and Culture in 2007 after learning Yoruba from her Nigerian roommate. I put an ad on Craigslist for a roommate. And the roommate that, the girl that came, that called me, um, actually ended up ha we actually ended up having the same birth date as in the same month, the same day, and the same year. And she was from Nigeria. And so I just felt like this must have been some spiritual thing. We let her move in. She moved in and she started teaching me the Yoruba language at the kitchen table. So she taught me Yoruba and she was like, this is crazy. Like you're learning this very quickly. And um, at the time she was so new to the state. She was still trying to get all of her, you know, her working papers, everything together. So she needed money. And I said, girl, we can teach Yoruba right here. And she was like, Kentucky, don't nobody want to learn no, no, um, no Yoruba. And I was like, yes, they do. <laughs> Initially focusing only on Yoruba, the Institute has since expanded its languages to include Twai from Ghana and Wola from Senegal. The Institute offers both adult and children's classes. Courses are divided into beginners, intermediate, and advanced levels, and are all taught by native speakers. It makes me feel like I'm doing something, I'm making an impact in someone else's life. I believe if you missed uh, or you misplaced your culture, um, then your heritage is gone. So it's just, it's a part of me that I think it's, I'm sharing with other people and I think it's good for, for all of us. The idea of learning African languages has piqued the interest of many Brooklynites and new students are eager to learn. I was like, you know, I want to learn a language. I want to expand my knowledge. I want to just go deeper in my studies for part of my culture and history. So I decided to sign up. Our education is, is completely lacking because, because we have no understanding of other cultures. We have no understanding of other languages. So how can you even be competitive uh, on, on a global stage with, without even the understanding of your next door neighbor's language? As the Institute continues to grow, Washington hopes that more African Americans will come to embrace their ancestral heritage and no longer be strangers to their history. I would like to have a major institute where culturally African, continental African people can go and be proud to learn their language and have like such a system that's in place um, that it's, it needs to be it's an institution. Like we need an institution like that to validate our reality and validate who we are, especially now people can trace their ancestry. Like we have no reason. Because if you trace your ancestry back and you, your folks were a con, then baby, get on your tree. Like there's no reason why you should not do it. You know, we're talking about Tang Dynasty of China or some other cultures within Africa. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. A Western education. You know what I'm saying? Become a fan on Facebook. Like Brooklyn Independent Television.